All right. Back in it again, doing some more stuff. We uh, were working on the duster, trying to get it fine-tuned, all buttoned up for the, uh, the big day next week. Um, and I will take some footage of that because it's going to be pretty cool using this in the uh, wedding procession. I, I don't know what you call that. But it um, should be pretty cool. So we're going to get her cleaned up. We're going to do the second coat, the long overdue second coat of uh, the Wipe On Clear Coat. It's the, uh, the Vice Grip Garage branded stuff. I think it's actually Poppy's Patina, I think, is who makes it. Um, it's the, uh, the gloss uh, Wipe On Clear. So what we're going to do is, um, it says to lightly scuff between coats. So I'm just going to take, because I don't think it'll take much, because the first coat was pretty thin anyway. Um, I'm just going to scotch bright the whole thing, just very lightly, just to give it a little bit of something for it to grab onto. And then we're going to spray the whole thing down with, um, with an alcohol base, like a prep all solution, just to uh, get it wiped down and clean. I washed the whole thing very, very thoroughly yesterday. So it's clean, but you still want to make sure you got any kind of greases, oils, stuff like that off it. So gonna scuff, gonna wipe, and then we're gonna spray her down and get her ready for clear coat. You can see it doesn't take much, that's already giving it just a little bit of abrasion, which is just exactly what we want. I should have done this first, but somebody did a terrible job of trying to seal around this window at one point. And got this junk all, all, all over it. So I am going to take, if I've got a decent razor blade, I'll hunt around for one and uh, try and cut and clean that off. But, gotta go hunt for razor blades. I don't want to go on it dry, but I also don't want to put anything on it that's going to make a mess. So, we're going to get the stuff we were using to clean, use our prep -X. See if that will cut it off. Got all that stuff cleaned off. Had to prep it again, but that's okay. Now we know she's good and clean. We're gonna bring our light, which is all tangled around my camera. And mount this. You can see the hood or the roof really well. That's where we're gonna start. I have learned it's best to start up top, work your way down so you're not accidentally trying to rub against the car with that wet coat on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start over here first, we'll mix up our stuff and we're gonna go, I think I'm gonna go, it's pretty critical to get this area right. So I think I might actually start right here at the back of the window, come up, in, over the middle, come down another row, in, over, up. I think that's how I want to do it. And away we go.
better on this one than we did on the first two. shine she came out real nice you can see the uh, sheen even on the rust much better than the first application I think you're still gonna notice a couple very small um, kind of strokes in it from where the rag wasn't quite wet enough on some of the passes but I think it's going to look a lot better than the initial application the second coat should really give it more luster and man you can see I mean there's still some little streaking on the trunk it's just harder on the flat spots but yeah that'll work Wait till she gets out in the sunlight. I think you'll see less of that streaking in the sun, too. This is some pretty awkward, harsh lighting in this garage. But, yeah. Look at that luster. Bam. Yeah. So that's, so that's really about all we can do with the car today. Uh, we prepped it. We gave it the coat of clear. She looks fantastic. We're letting that dry. It's got to dry for a full 24 hours, so I can't touch this thing again until Saturday afternoon. But when we do, I got some cool little surprises for you. I don't think I've showed you yet, but I ordered up some uh, factory replacement decals for the duster badges on either side. And also the one for the trunk that has the little Tasmanian devil looking guy on it. But what's cool is, and I'll show it to you in a second, I found one of the original metal badges under the seat. The new ones I got are just vinyl cut sticker replacements, but I do have one actual emblem that I found and I just redid it, cleaned it and uh, repainted it. So I'll show you what that looks like. I think I'm gonna put that one back on the trunk, have the two matching stickers on either side and the sticker I got for the trunk, I think we're gonna put on the glove box to give it a little pop on the inside. So that should be cool, but can't apply any of that until tomorrow and uh, once we do that, I think she's, at that point, done and, uh, and ready to start showing off. So here's the badge we redid. I took my quad aught steel wool, cleaned the whole thing up, got it shining again. But the inside of all the lettering was this really yellowed out, crusty looking mess. Uh, so I cleaned out as much of it as I could, and then I actually painted it with white out because it's what I had that was pliable that way. Um, but it came out pretty good, so we got the emblem all ready to go, and I think the white will really pop on that orange on the back. So I'm out here contemplating, and um, had a couple thoughts on the finish on the car. If it is streaking, even after that second coat still, what I haven't tried yet, and I honestly don't know how it'll look, because I don't know if I've seen any results from anyone else do it yet, but I thought about doing a really good wax, like a buff and cut on the finish after it cures. So it's Friday now, Saturday afternoon, it'll be good enough, I can put the stickers on it and kind of dress it up. Maybe Sunday, uh, which is Easter Sunday, so we're gonna have some free time after the family stuff, maybe Sunday afternoon, late, I'll um, try and get some wax on that thing and use the orbital buffer and just see what that'll do. Maybe that'll um, help get that shine a little more even 
and get those strokes out. If they're still in there, once it dries, it might look better. But after the first coat, um, I thought that might happen and it didn't. So with the second, my assumption is it probably still won't. And uh, it's much more even this time. There's a few spots on the trunk and on the roof, but I think that's mainly because those were the worst spots for the paint. So there wasn't any original gloss for it to really grab onto. And it just, with the surface rust in those areas, I think it just really eats and soaks that stuff in. So we're going to see. I'm going to try the wax on it. We're going to get it really dolled up. And um, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be nice and snazzy by the end of the weekend. One thing I will tell you is even though it says it's wipe on, I know you can spray or wipe on that clear coat. Next time I would definitely spray it on if you have the ability. Um, like I said, second coat, second time around, still got some streaking to it. It's really difficult on certain, certain vehicles to make it look even. I did do like the tailgate on the Bronco and it came out perfect but it already had some shine to it so if you've got a car that's already glossy but faded in spots it looks a lot more even if you have something that most of the clear coats gone on it's already a blotchy paint finish and you really want it to be even i think spraying it is the way to go with that stuff but for the cost for the tools that i had available to me i don't have a spray gun i don't have all that stuff yet it really does make a big difference and that thing looks a whole lot more presentable that way so i uh, i'm satisfied with the results especially for the price this is a budget vehicle like most of my projects they're they're kind of budget minded uh, this was a budget i wouldn't even call it a hot rod with a slant six but it was a budget classic car build uh, the f100 is a budget truck build i'm just trying to do them cheap get them the way i want them the way i'm happy with them the way i'm content and proud of them and get them on the road and that's exactly what we're going to do but uh next week like i said this one's part of a production you know i mean it's it's going to be in the wedding it's got to look nice i'm going to look half decent um kayla's going to look fantastic and i need the car to at least kind of fit in with how good you know everything else is going to look so i think it's going to be a car that's uh you know worthy of the drive off in we'll tie some tin cans to the back and by tin cans i mean beer cans let's get real and um it's gonna be a it's gonna be a fun day it's gonna be a good memory and um nothing like having some nice good classic cars that you put some blood and sweat in to um kind of help with that event and uh make some memories with all right so we're putting on our decals so we sprayed Forgot to show you that part. And then peeled the uh, backing off the decal, stuck her on. Got her pretty well squeegeed out, it looks like. I don't see any bubbles. It looks good. We leveled it with a magnetic uh, laser level that's really for like picture frame hanging, probably. Wet the tape so it'll peel off easy. Squeegee again. Squeegee again. Squeegee again. And nice trick and allows the decal to sit. Put the instructions right. <laughs> the satisfying peel. It's not like this. It's okay. You can, yep. It says if it tries to pull up, you should use your thumbnail. I wonder if it's too wet. It's easy to get some more. It's completely removing all fluid, that's why. Probably. The sound reminds me of something. Boop, 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 boop. I just don't know what. The train? Probably. It's like not sticky. Hmm? Oh no! There you go. Yay! Round of applause. Is it a round of applause or a round of applause? Applause. <laughs> I got it close. Nice! Look at that. Amazing. Boom. Woo! Look at that. That's a dry. <laughs> Man, that came out nice. The contrast on that paint looks good, huh? Mm -hmm. Boom. You can 
barely see a hole right there. Yeah, you can kind of, I tried to line it up and cover it as best I could, but the old emblems, don't, don't push hard. The old emblems were actual emblems, so there was two small pinholes. And you can actually see, man, look at that shine. Mm -hmm. You can see on this side, just between the D and the U, there's a little teeny tiny bit showing, but it'd be fine. But man, those look good. And right, I'll bring you guys in so you can see the process on this side. This one's going to be tricky because we got the crease thing going on, but I'm going to hit it with our prep ball. Wipe it. The instructions, I kid you not, say to spray it and clean it and degrease it ten times in a row. They really want to make sure there ain't no grease on it. I know there's no grease on it because we just painted this, but there might be a little bit of overspray, so we're going to spray it to make sure that there's no paint residue that's still loose on there. All right. Clean. Uh, soap bottle? Where's my soap bottle? Soap bottle's right here. All right. It's like I'm a nurse, but for cars. <laughs> and so what do I need? Soap bottle, decal, squeegee. Yeah. Squeegee's up, up there. here. So we're going to take it, we're going to peel the back film off first, right? It's our third one, so it smells like cakewalk now. Fingernail could come in handy. Hmm? I got it now. <laughs> Spray the soap on it to make it not sticky for a minute. Squeegee. Just a little more. That looks so cool. It's literally like being stuck in a snow bar. They're almost so big. So close. Also, there you go. Woo! And also, when we's done, when he's done doing it, we can eat dinner. <laughs> if you guys want to, you can go down to the comment section, uh -huh. and there should be some kind of emoji with hands clapping. Should be. And while you're doing it, you might as well like and subscribe. Might as well. Mazel. <laughs> One of Jason's favorite things to say. Yeah. Okay. This was supposed to be the one for the rear, but since we found that other emblem, it's become the glove box. That's cool. All right. That's that. High five. Bam. That's that.
That looks pretty good on the new black dash. And it may not show it good in this lighting. I'll get some video once we get this thing out of the garage tomorrow. But it's holographic, so it's shiny, and that's actually gold and silver. But it looks just kind of tan and white in this horrible garage lighting. But pretty cool. Bam. Much improved. Look at that. She's shiny, she's clean, she's got her emblems looking snazzy. Letting her warm up before we take her out on the jaunt down to the wedding. Got my OG badge in the back, reinstalled. Got the clear coat over that trunk patina. Man, those pillars came out nice. Roof came out nice. Overall, it's a very, very even coat. Clear, much better than the initial application. She looks really good. Ready to rock and roll. Inside, getting there. Dash all cleaned up. New emblem on the glove box. That came out nice. Let's go get married. <laughs>